gives you access to and I'm talking about the DAPS button on Trust Wallet. It gives you access to the Binance Smart Chain. Folks, you're one button away. One button away from saving on transaction fee costs, gas fees for Ethereum level transactions. So let me just say, <clears throat> the easy way to benefit from the emergence, that's the word, of the Binance Smart Chain ecosystem, in my opinion, is by buying a deflationary coin. Does it get better than that? Right? A deflationary coin, the BNB coin, which has among the largest market caps in all of crypto for a reason. Let me also say too that did you know that if you stake the BNB coin on Trust Wallet, they're going to give you something like a 20%, I'm not making this up, a 20% rate of return. Folks, it's, it's a no-brainer. By the way, that's in addition to whatever capital gains that you get on the coin. And since the coin is deflationary, and since the Binance Smart Chain ecosystem is growing by leaps and bounds, you're in the catbird seat with one of the biggest brands in all of crypto, Binance. But I need for you to understand the risk involved. Binance isn't decentralized like Bitcoin, right? You're dealing with a centralized outfit. So, in my opinion, there's a much higher risk that Binance could be shut down than, let's say, Dash or Bitcoin or Cardano, right? Much higher risk. If you're prepared to take that risk, just understand you have a mind-blowing opportunity here to get around 20% staking one of the best coins in all of crypto and by having access to a blockchain ecosystem, Binance Smart Chain, that is rapidly eating Ethereum's lunch, right? I encourage everyone to do their own research. Nothing I said here should be construed as financial advice. Let's just say that uh, I'm staking BNB on TrustWallet.com. Let's just say I've downloaded Trust Wallet and I'm surprised, surprised by how good this wallet is, right? Um, they have a DAPS button. They have a DEX button. Many of you have written me and said, hey, is ThorChain an ERC-20 coin? Well, understand, ThorChain is also on the Binance Smart Chain, right? Rune is the coin. You can literally, and I hope this shows, I guess not. This is the power of virtual backgrounds. You can literally buy Rune on Trust Wallet with just a couple of clicks. Right? And of course, you'd pay a much lower transaction fee than you would on the Ethereum blockchain. Understand what that means. It means you can dip your toe in the water. You can say to yourself, you know what? I don't trust any of these coins. I'm going to be cautious. I only want to buy. $50 worth of rune or $25 worth of rune. And then I want to see how the coin does. 
I want to see how the shirt fits before I decide to, to buy more of the wardrobe. You can't do that right now on Ethereum, folks. Anyone who's paid gas fees knows. You say, oh, I want to spend $25 on a transaction. And they might come back and tell you, sorry, you can't. Because, player, the transaction fees for the transaction are more than $25. Right? Binance Smart Chain makes those smaller transactions possible. I personally like to buy a little bit of a coin first to see how the shirt fits. If I look in my portfolio later and that coin's increased from $25 to maybe $30, then I'll keep a closer eye on the coin. I'll say, whoa, 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 you know, this coin might have some juice here. This coin is delivering for me. Then I might increase the stake. You need a platform that's going to allow you to do that, allow you to invest in cryptos to speculate. That's even a better word. In cryptos incrementally. Folks, I believe you can't do that right now. With Ethereum. The gas fees are prohibitive. You know, let me just say, too, I don't like the idea of hearing about what a platform is going to do in the future. You know, it's great hearing about Ethereum 2.0 and hearing about how they might start burning coins and stuff like that. Okay, hey, great. I want to see it. I want to have a coin, have those capabilities today. So when I invest in the coin, I know what I'm investing in. I don't want to rely on some founder's vision. There are a lot of smart people out there. I want to rely on a coin's current capability. Today, I'm saving money on transaction fees. Today, I'm conscious of price on transaction fees. Right? Ethereum right now isn't delivering. The market is telling you so. That's why so many of you have helped give Polygon the rise it's gotten. That's why so many of you have Cardano today over a buck seventy a coin and folks they're rolling out a lot of enhancements between now and the end of August. There might come a time when you're going to hear about all the developers jumping over, all the coins jumping over to the Cardano or Binance smart chain ecosystem. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. TrustWallet.com, give it a look, kick the tires. If you're bold, put on the shirt, hit the daps button, hit the dex button. Figure out what the buttons mean. Research Venus.io, research Pancake Swap. Compare Pancake Swap's numbers to Uniswap, which is more retail, and to Sushi Swap, which is more whale based. Compare the transaction costs. Do your own research. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I look forward to your comments in the comment section of this YouTube video. Thanks for stopping by.